massive occasion for us. You don't normally play against teams like Arsenal every day. We all know that they're going to be good players. Well, they've always been a passing team. They keep the ball. They'll all be good at the individual jobs, you know, attacking, defending. They'll all be athletic players. It'll be a good test for us. It's important that the back four communicate with the team. We can see everything. We need to be on point and controlling the midfield four in front of us to protect ourselves. So communication is vital to there. Jimmy always wants us to try and play up from the back and then you can just keep the ball and if you've got the ball, I mean, they can't do you any damage. I don't think we're nervous. I think we're more excited than anything. I think we can go out there and we can actually beat them. Well, it's just something we touched on being compact. So we worked off 40 yards yesterday. So Dan, just think if we're pressing there on the edge of their 18, 40 yards leaves you about three yards inside your own half. If we keep compact like that, that'll make it very difficult for them. All right, good luck. Last thing I'm going to say to you, as everyone looked at the set pieces, you know what you're doing. I don't want to see that go wrong, all right? Good luck, everyone. If you have enjoy the game, let's go out and give a good account. <laughs>
on set pieces and we were very sloppy on the first goal and I don't know why it's looked like some of us pushed out, some of us stayed in. We, we don't practice that. We practice, you, you pick up man for man, size for size. Our backs were against the wall at 2-0, but we felt that we were still in the game. We created enough chances in the first half. You know, credit to the boys in there, every one of them. You've kept going, you've earned what you've got today and I'm really, really proud of them. I've been really impressed today with this quality of football they played and their enthusiasm and their attitude. The second half, I thought the academy got a little bit more settled in their game, a little bit more relaxed and a bit more belief and went on to get two good goals. Going into the classroom on Thursday is going to be a really important thing for the boys because it's all about their learning and if they can learn to take the positives out of what we're trying to do, they'll become stronger from it. Wellesley and I have gone through the game last night, so we've been out to see areas that we want to talk about today and areas that we're going to work in as well. We just did a look at the DVD of how the game went and analyse the performance. You get to see how you did in certain areas and what you did wrong, what you can improve on. Tell me anything else about the goal once we get down there. Dan, your position. Cox, what about you? And you were excellent. But you can attribute that you're part of two goals that go in. But this is a learning game for you at that position. It's important that you go back and you look at what you've done wrong, you go out on the pitch and try and fix those points, but also look at what we did well. We matched their team in the second half. I think all of our players did really well. Good reaction, great reaction, great play. Here he goes. TT, I can't knock that because you made the keeper work because you've started deep in your own half and you've ended up in their box getting a shot off. Yeah? Gone across the goalkeeper, which I'd ask you to do. He's made a save. We've taken the lads into the classroom today to just finish off the process and make sure we recognise where we went wrong, what things we did well and how we can translate that back onto the pitch. What we didn't do well the other day was exploit the zones next to Eastman. So, Titi, start high and wide, as you were the other day, almost 4-2-4. Four, four. Fab, start high and wide. And what we're going to look to do is can we try and bounce off the diagonal midfielder? If we can't break out, if we go across the back and they're dealing with it and we can't get out, OK, one of you's got to come in now and just add to our bodies in here. If we can bounce out, as soon as we do that, TT, good, that's your cue to come off the line. Yes, Lou, shape up as though you've read it. Can I wrap it with a bit of topspin into there? With developing young players, you've got to be patient. And you can see the work that's going on with this initiative, that there are players there. You're giving people opportunities to go back into the game through good structure, through good work ethic. You're giving them lads a second chance.